Hi, this is Greg with my review of The Artist. Unfortunately, I saw The Artist right after having reread Pride and Prejudice, one of the greatest novels ever written, full of memorable characters and witty dialogue. And then you go see a silent film, which is rather short on the latter. Bernice Bejo plays a woman who stumbles into the spotlight, accidentally becoming an overnight sensation and major movie star, just as talkies, movies with sound, overtake silent films. Her character, Peppy Miller, becomes a knight in shining armor, rescuing the former dashing silent film star George Valentine, played by Jean Dujardin, whose career did not survive the transition to sound. Valentine, as was the case in real life for many silent film stars, finds himself obsolete and in a downward spiral. There's a simplicity and elegance to the film, and I do give the movie credit for originality, or being retro, and for trying something different and taking risks. But in the end, that can't make up for a lack of dialogue. There's a reason silent films died out once the technological limitations of early cinema were overcome. We do spend a significant portion of our lives talking, and it's one of our main means of communication, in case you weren't aware of it. The movie is self-aware enough to mention, indeed criticize, the mugging for the camera that went on in silent films in place of dialogue, though it succumbs a bit to the same. As novel as the artist may be these days, you can't really hope it's a trend that catches on or that silent films make a comeback. Although many in Hollywood often seem to not be aware of it, a dialogue is a star of any quality picture or work, not only in dramas but even novels, if the characters are fully realized. Indeed, Shakespeare or any author probably wouldn't be quoted as often as he is if we never heard his characters speak.